Anyway, what's up guys, it's Anime Tier here to bring you a review portion, also redirect, for Inuyasha episodes 8 through 10. Really damn good episodes, I loved every minute of it. From the Nobunaga episode to the Thunder, to the two episode Thunder Brother, Thunder Brothers uh, episodes. Honestly, I will gotta say this. I actually did lo like the Thunder Brothers, especially Heaten. The way how he grieved for his his other his younger brother really made me. F and the way even his younger brother was, excuse me, was sad knowing that he's gonna be separated from his older brother. It just really hurt it in the feels, man. Because I really felt for them. Because when I saw these two brothers, it reminded me of me and my brother. So if I was in Heaten's situation where someone killed my younger brother, I would have been out for blood too. And I would make sure I get every last drop of it. So I'm not even going to lie. I can't blame Heaten. Even though he is technically a demon and he did k try to kill them for shards, for fragment of the fragments of the jewel shards, he let his lust for power caused his own brother's demise in my opinion they caused their own demise in a sense but either way still good episodes i will have to say this though if you guys want to see the full length reaction to all three episodes make sure you check in the description below there's redirect links to those episodes that way you're able to see everything full episode unedited untouched everything there um this is also Inuyasha is now a part of the anime juggle list. So if you want to see more Inuyasha, make sure, make sure to hit that like button. Because the more likes we have, the more episodes we'll see. So remember, you want more Inuyasha, you want more episode, ep bleh, episodes, it's plural, not singular. Hit that like button. Make sure to like, comment, and sub too if you haven't already. Really motivates me to put more content out there for you guys. And no, I'm not done with the review. I just got a little ahead of myself. But we also got introduced to a character known as Shippo. He is now a part of the group. He's one of the main uh, characters now. I've known. A, I I don't really know of his character, but I've I've seen him in the opening, so I know. It's going to be Inuyasha, Kagome, the Shippo kid, a, a guy, and this other woman that's in interesting armor. So we still got like two more characters. A good solid two more characters to be shown in the series. Well, not shown in the whole series. Well, basically the last few characters to join Inuyasha's group. I'm assuming anyway. I'm pretty sure there's maybe more who knows but yeah these were awesome fights i'm not gonna lie the thunder brothers were a strong opponent they were like in my opinion shishomaru level maybe even higher i'm not sure but thanks to the, the tensaiga inuyasha was the vic uh, victory went to inuyasha and yeah he won so it was still awesome awesome to see that once again, I still felt bad for the brothers. I low-key wish they were not dead because I would have loved to see their characters more in the series. Even though they threatened either Yasha and his group to take the shard, so... Hey, whatever happens, happens. You guys sh shouldn't have messed with them, but because of that, you caused your own demise. You got beat by a half-demon, and you're both full demon. So... Cause your own demise. But either way, but either way, guys, these were dang awesome episodes. Um, what else? Honestly, I just wonder, like, how long is it gonna be for them to collect all the jewel sh shards? Cause we saw like, it looked like hundreds or thousands of them were scattered throughout the world. So. They're going to have to travel to every freaking landmark just to recover these jewel shards. I don't know how massive the feudal era of Japan is, but then again, Japan is like a small, it's kind of like a small country. So may not take that long, but we'll see. Can't wait to see the other characters that are going to join the group. Who knows on how long until they show up, but still look forward to those also. But, uh... Hmm. 
yeah, that's all, pretty much it. I don't have a whole lot to speak on these episodes. But if there's anything you feel like I missed that you want to comment me on for these reactions, make sure you, uh, like I said, comment in the comment section below anything that you feel like I missed you want to talk about with me. If there's anything relating to these episodes you just want to talk about with me in general, make sure to comment it, comment it in the comment sections below. Questions, questions. Was I the only one that felt bad for the brothers? Like, I really felt bad for Heaton. And when I saw how they were being at their last, like, it, when the younger brother was dying. I keep forgetting, Maten? Maten, right? When Maten was passing on and he was dying. And he was giving out his last parting words to his older brother. Was I the only one that was close to tearing up? Like, it, I was really close to choking up and tearing because of that moment because I thought like man he just lost his younger brother even though they are bad guys they still short compassion toward each other no matter how things got no matter how they argued or whatever to the very end they still cared about them they cared for each other deeply and I thought that was sweet what Maten said too like even though like I would die and even though I would look like this as long as I would come back as your younger brother that would still be nice either way. I'm like, bro, you don't deserve to die. If you if, if you had that com much compassion in you. I just wish you weren't a bad guy. I really wish you weren't because you had such... You had a good heart toward your brother. But it's just toward everyone else. I mean, maybe it's just humans. I feel like it's just humans. It's kind of like a humans versus demon things that will ne they will never get along, so they use them however they please. I'm not sure. What do you guys think in the comment section below? So question number two. Do you feel do you feel like at this point in the series, Inuyasha already likes Kagome in like a romantic sense, or he just cares about her as a friend? Let me know, guys, in the comment section below. Um, once again, these questions are just optional. You do not have to uh, answer them if you don't want to, but I greatly appreciate it if you did. It help us have a conversation in the comment section. But um, yeah, other than that, guys, that's really it. Don't forget to like it up if you want more Inuyasha. Remember that. I'm out. Peace.